Hey everyone, Savannah Tree Foundation Field Manager Jake Henry here and today we've got another non-native species that I wanted to talk about um, and just for reference we are in the north end of Forsyth Park uh, this section was actually dedicated as an arboretum so it's sort of a collection of lots of interesting tree species there are over 50 different species here in this north end so it's really interesting if you want to come out here and test your tree ID skills uh, but today we're looking at sawtooth oak uh, this is Quercus acutissima. So this is a non-native oak that uh, was introduced. It's a really tough uh, sort of urban tree, so it can handle a lot of heat. It's shown to be pretty strong on you know streets and tree lawns. Can handle a lot of that radiant heat, um, and hence its name, the sawtooth oak. Uh, we've got a leaf here. This is looks like a little saw blade. It's got these sharp little spines on the end. And uh, I think that's a pretty fitting name for it. Um, but one of the things that we've discussed before with non-natives is, is it going to become invasive? And that's always a tough question, right? We, it's hard to know early on in a tree's life, if it's, you know, as it's introduced and used in urban areas, um, is it actually going to become invasive? And there's actually been some indication that this tree is becoming invasive. So when I say invasive, I mean it's getting out into natural areas and displacing our native species without competing them. And we really don't want that. You know, we wanna encourage the growth of our native species in natural areas. Um, and you know, we, we need those tough urban trees. You know, we, we always appreciate them. They're really important, but we gotta make sure we're taking care of our natural areas as well. Uh, sometimes it can be a, a difficult balance. Um, but as I mentioned, you know, it's, it's a tough tree in its native range, uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, it's it does well. It's actually from Asia, um, so it's you know there's no such thing as a bad tree. I always say right tree, right place, and we just want to make sure that we're, we're planting this in the right place. And I don't think North America is the right place for this. Um, it's just starting to become invasive, and that's why I'm always hesitant to utilize a non-native unless it's been around for a really long time. So. Uh, a good example of something like that would be a ginkgo. So ginkgos have been utilized in North America for a very long time as, as almost an ornamental tree. Um, they haven't shown any indication of becoming invasive. And so that's a tree that I, I trust to plant that's a non-native, you know. Um, but this, on the other hand, hasn't been used for a very long time and it's already showing signs of becoming invasive. So. We always have to be careful utilizing non-natives in our urban environments. And this is one we just kind of want to hold, pump the brakes on, just, you know, not plant this too much for the time being. So that's our sawtooth oak. Uh, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Take care.